My name is Brianna Banks. I'm a nursing student at Delaware Tech, and this is my presentation on hepatitis. What is hepatitis? Hepatitis is an inflammatory condition of the liver, and it's commonly caused by viral infection and other possible causes of hepatitis. And those include autoimmune hepatitis, and hepatitis that occurs as a secondary result of medications, drugs, toxins, and alcohol. Causes of non-infectious hepatitis. So too much alcohol consumption can cause liver damage, and with that liver damage, cause inflammation of the liver. And this is also referred to as alcoholic hepatitis. So um, the alcohol damages the cells over a course of time and it causes serious damage to the liver and can result in liver failure or even cirrhosis. Some other toxic causes include overdose and overuse of medication and exposure to poisons. Autoimmune systems causes. So with autoimmune hepatitis, um, it's pretty much a disease that occurs in your body and it makes antibodies against your liver tissues. So the immune system often mistakes the liver as harmful and attacks it. And then this also causes um, your liver to become inflamed and it can be mild or severe and this also will lead into how it affects how your liver will function and autoimmune um, hepatitis is three times more common in women than men there's five types of hepatitis there's hepatitis a hepatitis b hepatitis c hepatitis d and hepatitis E. Um, and with the types, hepatitis A is spread by fecal oral contamination. Hepatitis B is spread by sexual contact or bloodborne. Hepatitis C is spread by bloodborne. Hepatitis D is spread by sexual contact or contaminated blood products and hepatitis E is spread by fecal oral contamination. Symptoms of hepatitis include jaundice, fatigue, flu-like symptoms, dark urine, pale stool, and abdominal pain. To diagnose hepatitis, there's a couple of things that they could use to diagnose it, and one of them would be um, history and a physical examination so the doctor can pull history and or like your family history and see if there's any risk factors that you may have for infectious or non-infectious hepatitis. Um, they will do um, like the doctor will do a physical examination and they could press gently down on your abdomen and see if there's any pain or tenderness. Um, they can also feel to see if your liver is enlarged or if your skin or eyes are yellow. There's also liver function tests. So liver function tests uses blood samples to determine like if your liver works properly. Um, this would be like a first indication that there's a problem because um, sometimes you don't always show signs of the disease. And then there's ultrasounds. So ultrasounds, they would do like an abdominal ultrasound to use um, ultrasound waves to create an image of your liver or your local organs to your liver. And with this ultrasound, it can reveal um, if there's any fluid in your abdomen, any liver damage or enlargement, liver tumors, or any abnormalities of your gallbladder. Prevention, um, of course, 
practicing good hygiene, so making sure that you, um, like, wash, like, any, like, uncooked food, like any shellfish, chicken, anything like that, um, washing your fruits and vegetables, um, make sure you're washing your hands when it comes to, like, cross-contamination for fecal-oral, um, and then not sharing any drugs or needles, not sharing razors, or, like, not using someone else's toothbrush, um, and there's also vaccines. So there is vaccines for only hepatitis A and hepatitis B. There is no vaccines for the rest of the three. And treatment. So there was a couple of options for treatment, but it all depends on whether, like, what kind of hepatitis you have. For hepatitis E, there's n or A, there's no treatment that is required um, because it's such a short illness, um, so bed rest might be recommended by your doctor. For B, um, acute hepatitis B doesn't require specific treatment. Chronic can be treated with antiviral medications. And for C, antiviral Viral medications help treat both acute and chronic forms of hepatitis C. For D, there is no antiviral medications for D, but a medication called alpha interferon can be used to treat it. But it's only shown that it works for 25 to 30% of the people who have been treated with it. And for E, there's no drugs that are available to treat hepatitis E.